Do your magic items tell a story, or do your enchanted swords and magic rings sometimes just feel like soulless loot? Running eight games a week at the moment, I have definitely realized how hard it can be to create magical loot that is inspiring and exciting every single time. Stick around so that you can breathe life into every potion, blade, and bauble in your game of Dungeons and Dragons as we transform from the boring and mundane to the epic and magnificent. Let's get to it. Magic items are the coveted treasures of Dungeons and Dragons. Very few things excite your players more than some awesome loot, with the exception, perhaps, of a free level up. And yet, for some reason, a ton of the magic items that we pop out seem to end up forgotten in the bottom of a backpack. And why? Because, frankly, they don't have any story, their descriptions are blasé, and goodness knows they're missing any real quirk or character. But today, we're going to transform that with some simple questions. I've also created a simple tool where you can store that information and find inspiration easier, which I'll share with you a little later. First up, let's infuse our items with a little bit of backstory. Every magical item, whether it's a dusty helm or a fabulous blade should come with some hints as to the history that surrounds it. However, we can't really give anybody any access to the history of an item if we don't know what that history is. Ask yourself, what was the creation date of this item? How long has it been around? Is it something relatively new, or are we leaning into the typical D&D fantasy and talking about an item that's been around for a thousand years since its creation or more? whether an item is new or old can make a big difference in one, how you're going to describe the item, but also in the kind of sense of what your players think is possible or impossible and what they suspect the power or lack of power of the item is going to be. Secondly, does the magic item itself have a name? Is there a way that we can tell our players what it is so that they can refer to the item as icing death instead of a frost brand scimitar? Having a cool name for an item not only helps us to define further features about the item, but it gives our players something to latch onto, to get excited about when they're describing their equipment, utilizing their weaponry, etc. Another great question is to ask who created the item. Just jotting down the name of the creator can be enough, but if you can throw a title onto that name, it can really elevate the kind of information and the creative spark for everything that comes from there on. Answering what is the core item and what was its source, if you've watched my video about how to add magic item crafting to your campaign, then you'll know that I'm an advocate for using a specific core trait item. This item is essentially the power source, the batteries that are plugged into the magic item when it is created. It is a way to infuse it with flavor for sharing with your players. What was the most impressive deed that was ever performed with this item. This can go both ways as being both the most good deed that is ever performed and or the most evil deed that was ever performed with it. Knowing both is great, having one or the other can often be good enough if you don't want to give a twisted history to your magic item. Who was the most famous person to ever use this magic item? As information that you can feed out, it not only gives you an excuse to drop a little piece of lore, one of the secrets of your campaign, campaign into play, but it also makes the magic item seem more impressive and allows the player to feel more impressive for being added to the ranks of great warriors and heroes past. Next, let's engage the six senses. Yes, I know, I said six, bear with me. Being able to describe the cold whisper of a blade's passage, the heavenly aroma wafting from a potion, or the pulse of longing from a long-forgotten crown is a great way to get our players invested in the items that we are putting in front of them. This is one of those times where laying on the telegraphing as thick as possible is totally acceptable. We don't want this item to end up forgotten in somebody's backpack because people were afraid to put it to use and not get the most out of it or end up with the wrong item. As simple questions on the tool that I mentioned, adding what it looks like, feels like, smells like, tastes like, or sounds like, helps 
our players to get excited about the item, and as a sixth sense emotion that is pouring off of an item or a sense of how ancient and how much time has passed since the creation of a magic item is something that we can explain to expand our storytelling without actually needing to be able to define it in words as to how the characters know that there has been a bunch of time passing or why exactly a magic item is capable of transferring emotion to the person who touches it. And finally, add some quirks to your magic items. Those strange things that draw our players in and make an item truly memorable, like a dagger that screams guitar power chords when it's put to use, or boots that chatter about the weather and complain about getting muddy. Players love these. They spark joy, commentary, and more often than you expect, some unusual strategic options, and they're the item that players will engage with way after they've become the non-optimized choice. The tool that I've created includes some great links to sources for quirks for your magic items, including, of course, some D100 Reddit threads and a giant in the playground forum thread on the topic, but incidentally, there's a pretty cool list in the Dungeon Master's Guide in the magic item sections too, though I know nobody bothers reading that particular book. Lol. Don't forget to pick up the magic item enhancement tool by pushing this big button here. And if you found value in this, then please hit like, share it with somebody who's in need, and subscribe to the channel so that you can get more advice to help elevate your game of Dungeons and & Dragons. And remember that in our world of magic, every item has a tale to tell. What will yours say?